Hello, I'm Rick Carlos. And I'm Angel Carlos. And we are the songwriting team for this new song called Father Say. You know, it was just about a year ago, the end of May, that I was sitting in church and they were showing a video about fatherhood right before Father's Day. And I got so excited, I said, you know what? There needs to be a song to capture this moment to share with everyone else. So I came home and I said, Angel, you need to write a song. Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I did. I wrote a song. I it it was uh, more of a jingle to capture um, what legacy-minded men was trying to um, uh, communicate. And it was more, uh, I think the chorus was turning Father's Day and every day into the blessing of what fathers say. Yes, the and then tell them about what happened at that board meeting okay. at the Father's Day meeting. Yeah. Well, the emphasis was, of course, uh, taking Father's Day and letting it not only be about fathers, but also it, it be an opportunity to speak into, for fathers to speak into the lives of young men, young yes. women, whether it be by video, writing a letter and things like that. And so um, I just kind of wrote that little jingle and it just so happens they were having a board meeting. Yes. And, um, uh, the song got to them in the board meeting, and so it got back to us that uh, the, uh, they started crying because they loved the, the chorus of it so much, and then they asked us to write a verse, and so I wrote the verse and another verse. That's right. And then, right. The, then I gave the song to my husband, and he Yes, and I started it. to produce it and just try to listen to the words that you wrote down and said, how can I capture that in music? And, and the rest seems to be history. It seems like God has really been doing something special with yeah. this. I think it's an important message because I think there's an epidemic of fatherlessness uh, in the world, not just in the United States, but in the world. And so uh, we want to try to do our part to help impact that. I have a personal interest in that myself, yes. Yes. Uh, of my, uh, the aspect of my life, fatherlessness. And so yes. it's important. Yes, it's and important. I wanted to make a statement even just to encourage myself, when I listened to your words, I was encouraged how to talk to my children and how to make sure that they knew that uh, I was there for them and I wanted to bless them, as the song says. I wanted to speak something into their life that would really bring impact and change. So I really thank you for that. I thank you for doing such a wonderful job. And it just inspired me to write some things on the piano and. I just believe together that uh, we can make an impact on, in the world. Yeah. Well, you mentioned about blessing, and I think blessing, blessing was very important in the Old Testament, very important. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know, we know of the scriptures where Esau and, and uh, yes. uh, the story of Esau and how he sold his birthright and, and yes. how important it is for a father to be able to speak to a son and how, in, how important it was for a son to receive that blessing from the father, to tell them who they are and to tell them they had meaning. Yes. It's like the first line of the song, tell them who they are, tell them they have meaning, listen to their hopes, listen to their dreams. And so even though that was Old Testament, even today, it's still very important for uh, young men, women, to be able to hear from their father who they are because their fathers tell them who they are. Otherwise, they uh, can go around without um, knowing their identity and struggling with most of their lives. Could you imagine what would happen if dads around this country sat down with their son or their daughter and listened to this song and then said, what do you think about that? You know, then it could kind of open up the door to this great conversation, and then we could in turn say, I want to bless you now. Would you receive that? Mm -hmm. It's just an open door. I think it's an open door. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. I do. I do. So after you um, wrote the song, what about the feedback from the people from your church, from the people that heard the song? <laughs> Seems like we've received really great feedback from this song, right? Nothing but, which is, thank the Lord, just nothing but great feedback. And with Legacy Minded Men, they had the opportunity to have connections with people who have um, the ability to critique at a high level and to, you know, give us real good feedback and where we needed to change. And we we, have, made one we change. did make a major change. We made a major change. I remember right in the middle of writing yeah, this song, the chorus said, 
turning Father's Day, right? Yes, it did. And every day. And every day into the blessing of the Father's Day. But we want to make it go beyond that. Not just Father's Day turning to day, which could be any time. Right. Because Father's Day limited it. So uh, they felt it would be more far-reaching if we turned the Father's, turning Father's Day and turning into into turning today and every day into the blessing of what fathers oh, say. Yes. So that's one of the changes that we made. Yes, yeah. Yes. yeah. And at first she was a little uncomfortable with that. There, I was very uncomfortable. <laughs> but it seems like it just turned around and now it it's turned cool. around very quickly. <laughs> yes. Because we want to be far reaching yes. and we just don't want to limit it to Father's Day. So yes. yeah. Yes. Yeah. I love it now. <laughs> yeah. For the inspiration and the great feedback, now we're making a musical video. Yes. yes. So we're all looking forward to um, the upcoming. I am video. so excited. This is my first day here on the shoot mm -hmm. of the Father's uh, Say video. And it's just been buzzing with excitement. I mean, when I saw the little children actors and I saw the adult actors and amazing. all of these camera people. And amazing. I mean, it's just amazing to think how just this little seed of this song has been just blown into this big... Uh, Production. Yeah. Ah, it's really and ironically, we didn't do anything to really promote it. <laughs> no. It's no. just, uh, and I, but I think that's very important. Um, just, just to see the need, and to yes. try to do our part to fill. Yes. Uh, yes. The and. And it's amazing how people get behind you when you, kind of hit the vein or hit something that needs to be spoken. And then people come and say, let me rally behind that because I believe in what you're saying too. Yeah, it's beautiful. And that's why all these people are here it's today. It's beautiful. It's been great. Just beautiful mm -hmm. people here. Um, uh, just, it's been wonderful. Yes. Yeah. I can't wait to see the production. Yeah. I can't either. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. There's going to be, it's awesome, not only to just for, um, for the church group, but also for the, the people from different religions. Yes. People non-religious. That's correct. Great impact that's correct. and and I agree with you because uh, not just religion absolutely but for the message goes for the religious the non-religious uh, the message yeah. goes for everyone yeah everyone it's everyone yes. everyone the importance the importance the importance of speaking into your children's lives yes. and 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 um, giving them an identity yes. it's very important I hope that people will begin to share it once someone hears it, that they will share it with their friend and share it and share it and share it so that everyone gets to really experience this, uh, this song and the message of this song. Absolutely. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Mm -hmm. good, good. So looking forward to it. <laughs> so are we. And you know, we're very blessed to have Tobias and uh, you know, he's been my photographer since 1999. Mm -hmm. I think, That's right. and uh, he is uh, the best, and oh, uh, at what he yes, does. Yes, yes. So I, I know anything Tab puts his hand to is is going to be quality. Yes, it is by yes, far. Yes. So I'm excited. Yes, me too. We hope the Lord will use it and yes, and to yes. m make a difference because what mm -hmm. real what it's really all about is not about writing a. Uh, not necessarily about writing a good song that has a, a part in it, of course, but yes. but it's about making impact and making change. Yes. You know, our part in in trying to make change. Trying to make change. Yeah. Yes. Have impact. So the plan. So um, is the um, the church or the your religious leadership decided that um, this musical video will be part of the theme for your um, ministry? Yeah. Yes. For the yes. Ministry. This seems like this has become uh, kind of ingrained into the Father's Day uh, of our church. And many churches across the country, I've heard the word got back to us that many churches across the country are embracing this. And uh, they want to make it a part of their Father's Day theme. And hopefully go beyond that and develop into something that they could use it as a teaching tool to help their congregations connect with their kids. Yes, we hope so. Hopefully. Yes. We hope so. Mm -hmm. Coming soon. Coming soon. Coming soon. soon. <laughs> Watch out. Coming soon. <laughs> Watch out. It's <laughs> coming soon. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. 
Thank we are you. done. Thank Thank you. You. <laughs> this is wonderful. Oh, good. <laughs> we are done. <laughs> I don't have to work nervous anymore. Ah. <laughs>